Well, the Pope exposed himself for the true agent of Satan that he really is. Now, I'm very slow to use language like this because I don't call other believers, so to speak, agents of the devil. I don't make heresy hunter videos. I don't call out false teachers or false prophets. That's not what this ministry is about. However, the Pope is the representation of Catholicism, which many people believe is Christianity, although it is a little bit different. And I'm being generous when I'm saying a little bit different. However, even Catholics are now condemning the Pope's latest actions in this very dangerous statement that he made which shows that he does not believe in Jesus Christ at all. But before we go deep into this, let's get into the intro. What's going on guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before we get into today's video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel down below if you are new, and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. Without further ado, Let's get into it. Pope Francis is under a lot of controversy after revealing that he does not believe Jesus Christ is the only way to God. Recently, at a multi-faith summit in Singapore, he spews blatant heretical doctrine that all religions are a path to God, as well as many other unbiblical claims. Obviously, any Bible-believing Christian knows that Pope Francis is no stranger to absurd, weird doctrine. However, this type of rhetoric even has the most devout Catholics denouncing Pope Francis himself. The Pope has been paving the way for the one world religion that the book of Revelation describes for a long time now. With his most recent antics involving the construction of the Abrahamic Interfaith Center, which involves Muslims, Jews, and Christians all coming together to worship God. However, Jews and Muslims are both separated from God since they deny Jesus Christ as the only way to the Heavenly Father. Which is clear that Pope Francis has already rejected basic Christian doctrine even before this recent scandal. Let's take a look at Pope Francis's satanic beliefs, and soon we can compare his New Age doctrine to actual scripture. Scripture, so you can understand the importance of knowing the Bible for yourself rather than trusting feel-good messages that do nothing but tickle people's ears on their way to hell. Tutte le religioni sono un cammino per arrivare a Dio. Because every religion is a way to arrive at God. Sono, dirò una comparazione, sono come diverse lingue, diverse idiomi per arrivare lì. Sort of a comparison, an example would be they're sort of like different languages in order to arrive at God. Ma Dio è Dio per tutti. But God is, is God for all. E come Dio è Dio per tutti, noi siamo tutti figli di Dio. And if God is God for all, then we're all sons and daughters of God. There were so many false statements within that first minute that I just watched, but after that last point, I had to stop it just to show you guys that this is not biblical at all. We are not all sons and daughters of God. We are all made in God's image, but the Bible clearly states in John 1 12 when referring to the incarnation of Jesus by stating that the word became flesh, but to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. You only have the right to be a child of God if you receive Jesus Christ. If you reject Jesus, you reject God entirely, and therefore you are not a part of God's family, which would not make you a son or daughter of God. This is basic Christianity. Pope Francis also makes the false claim that different religions are just different languages with the same meaning. This is also not true because everybody from every different religion knows that they all contradict each other. How can Buddhism be a path to God when Buddhists don't even believe in God? How can Hinduism be a path to the one God when Hinduism believes in 30 million gods? How can Islam be the path to the Christian God when they deny that Jesus was even crucified? And how can Christianity be the same as these other gods in these other religions when it clearly says that Jesus Christ is the only way to the true and living God? So I'm not sure where Pope Francis is getting this idea that religions are just different languages with the same meaning unless he's either clueless about his own faith or he's working for the devil into leading the masses into the end times apostasy that the Bible talks about. My mio Dio è più importante del tuo. But my God is more important than your God. È vero quello? Is that true? C'è un solo Dio lì. E noi sono idiomi, cammino, lingue per arrivare a Dio. There's only one God and each of us is a language, so to speak, in order to uh, arrive at God. Qualcuno è schi, qualcuno è musulmano, qualcuno è indi, qualcuno è cristiano, Indo, ma Christian. sono diversi cammini. There, there are different paths. Understood?
this satanic lie that religions are all different paths to the same destination goes directly against what Jesus Christ taught himself in the Bible. The Lord said in John 14, 6, Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. There's no sugarcoating this, but Pope Francis is quite literally an agent of Satan who is being used by the global elite to water down the true biblical gospel on the world stage. Because this is exactly what must occur in the last days. In Revelation 17, it speaks about an end times event where a one world religion is formed to persecute the true saints of Jesus Christ even unto death. And the stage is being set for this by Pope Francis who is the face of Catholicism into bringing this end times prophecy into fruition. What's even more jarring is many biblical scholars have even speculated that this one world religion, speaking about Babylon, would actually be coming out of Rome. And as you know, the Vatican is located in Rome as well. These are the end times, and for those who have discernment, we can see the living word of God become even more relevant in our everyday lives. This is why it's so important and crucial to know the Bible for yourself. Many people in the beginning profess themselves to be Christians, but they end up falling away because they have no knowledge of the word of God or the actual attributes of who God is. The harsh truth is, all of these other religions are created by Satan to deceive you from the fact that we can only obtain fellowship with the Almighty through the blood of his son, Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter if the Pope denies this otherwise. We must put our trust alone in God's word. If you made it all the way till the end of the video and you believe in God's word over new age doctrine, I want you to comment down below, the word triumphs everything. If you guys want to watch my last video, you can simply click up here. Or if you guys want to subscribe to the channel, you can simply click up here. I'll see you guys very soon for another video. I love you guys so much. May God bless all of you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, take care and peace out.